Good day to the students, and this is again your learning partner, teacher Anna. So welcome back, guys. So last week we have uh, finished our third quarter exam. So I hope you have done so well to our third quarter exam. So today we are going to have lesson number nine. So this is about reading and writing uh, fiction. So we are going to know the types of short story. So short story is also one example of uh, fiction, okay? So today, guys, we are going or you are going to uh, determine various types of short story, exploring key elements of fiction. And then you are also going to write a sample fiction and develop short story using the elements of the plot. So in your previous study, guys, in the creative writing, you have learned the details about writing journal entry. And then in this lesson, you will write a simple fiction and develop a short story using the elements of the plot. So your knowledge about writing journal entry is also very important in understanding this lesson. So to find out, you are going to uh, start or answer the assessment from the starting point. Okay, so you need to remember and then you need to enumerate and describe some tips on preparing a journal entry. Now, let's go to the types of short stories. So, ano-ano pala ma'am ang mga types ng short stories? So, according to our research or sa ito ang libro, there are 10 types of short stories. So, we have the anecdote, the drabble, fable, feghut, uh, flash fiction, frame story, mini saga, story sequence, sketch story, and vignette. So when we say anecdote, it is a short account of something interesting and amusing, which usually tells a story about a real person and or incident. So often anecdotes are used to illustrate or support a point in essay, article, or chapter. They are very short but have no specific limits. So anecdote though, guys, is a short account. So, ang naandala sa ayahang uh, short story is very in, ano, interesting and amusing. Kasi it also tells or it usually tells uh, what we call a real person. So, nag-story siya or nag-story siya about a real person or isa ka tinuod nga incident with a creative mind. Okay? So, kanipod siya... Uh, Naga support po siya like for example in an essay, maybe in an article, or maybe in a chapter. So kaning anecdote guys, short, very short manjud ka ni siya, and then there are no specific limits. So wala jud siya nakabutang dito ng mga specific limits. So unsa na, unsa ang, ang mga example sa anecdote ma'am? So when we say anecdote, there are a lot of examples when you are going to research it uh, in our uh, internet. So one, uh, one of the example here given is um, once had a border collie, I love Ireland. Is that a white rose? So, these are the short stories uh, we have here. I once had a border collie. She was so smart. Every morning, I'd open up the front door and she'd run out, pick up the newspaper and deliver it to my husband and breakfast at the breakfast table. So, as you can see, it is very short. It is also very interesting because it is uh, talking about a real type of uh, dog. 
So another example, guys, is, oh, I love Ireland. I visited the West Coast six times last year. Have you ever been to Kelmacdo? It's an old monastery where the winds whip with songs of the deceased who are laid to rest there. So as you can see here, it talks about the real place, which is the Ireland. And then uh, it also uh, talks about uh, the authors, ideals, and even experiences in that kind of place. So that is an example of an anecdote, okay? So we also have Harry Potter uh, and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. So this is also example of anecdotes in literature. We also have uh, by Oscar Wilde, which is the rocket from the Happy Prince and the other tales. Nora Roberts <clears throat> about Mera to Iona in Dark Witch. So this is written by Nora Roberts. So they are what we call anecdote in literature. Okay. Now let's go to number two. So we have uh, learn number one, which is an anecdote. And then let's go to number two, which is drabble. So instead of saying drabble, so when we say drabble, guys, it is an exceptionally short piece of fiction, usually of exactly 100 words in length, not including the title. The purpose of a drabble is extreme brevity to test an author's skill at expressing himself or herself meaningfully and interestingly in a very confined space. So, ninut kaya yung drabble, guys, no? Kasi mubo lang din siya. And then, it's, it also uh, talks about extreme brevity. Okay? And then, this can also test the author's skills at expressing himself or herself meaningfully. And then, interestingly. So, unsa mga example of a drabble. So, there are a lot of example uh, when we say drabble. So, we want to research sa online guys. Uh, one of its uh, drabble is uh, the dark woods. Okay. So, a drabble, guys, is like any story. It should have a beginning, a middle, and an end. The beginning sets up the story. The middle is the meat or the progression of the story. And the end provides the conclusion. So usually, it is just composed of 100 words. So another uh, an example of a short story is about the larder thief. So I will read to you some lines of it. 2 a.m. All is quiet. There's just me and the cats slinking around in the dark. I head up, I head up the street, sneaking between the pools of light until I reach my target. Number 22. Hiding in the shadows of the door. I stop and listen. Perfect. No one is up. Carefully, I work on the lock and soon the catch clicks open pause silence i push the door wide and slip inside success i take a moment to slip off my shoes sneaking into the kitchen i start by raiding the fridge brian yes mom what time do you call this <laughs> so when you uh uh Mwani siyang ihapon. Let's try to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 45, 
Wow! It's exactly 100 words! <laughs> So, this is an example of a drabble. Now, this, uh, let's go to your favorite. <laughs> so, mo na siya inyo ang mga paborito, no? Since you are very young, which is what we call fable. Okay? So, just like uh, the short story or the Aesop's uh, fables. So, naghan ka, you know? Ng mga... Nga mga uh, fables, just like the tortoise and the hare, the fox and the grape. So, muna siya mga uh, short story nga paborito kayo sa mga bata. So, unsa na yung fable, ma'am? So, when we say fable, it is a short story that is saucing story featuring anthropomorphic creatures. So they are, or they, or kadi siya nga mga short story, nag-feature siya o mga anthropomorphic creatures. Meaning, mga animals or mga mythical creatures or maybe plants nga nag-animate o tao. Okay? Or maybe objects nga nag-animate o tao. So the main uh, purpose of this, guys, is to tell a story with a moral. So para tubluan mo mga... Uh, morality, uh, good attitude. So, th this is a very uh, good uh, purpose of fable. So, open the moral is ex explicitly told at the end. So, in a fable, guys, kung siya ka nang makita yun siya ni Mudayon or istorya gindira kung sa ang uh, moral sa story. Pero na po eh, uh, fable na ka nang, kailangan pa ni mo hubaron, kailangan pa ni mo sabton o maayo para makuha ni mo kung saang moral sa story. But always remember, a fable is also similar to a parable. Ang ila lang kalainan but differs most in the fact that fables use animals. A fable nagagamit sila og animals to tell a story but parables do not. Okay? Um, parables, medyo dool -dool lang sila. It is because they tell a moral or they told a moral at the end. But <clears throat> kalainan nila ang fable is nagamit og animals while the parables do not. They uh, ang parables nagagamit yun siya og real human. So as I say a while ago, example of a fable is like the the tortoise and the hare, the ant and the grasshopper the fox and the grapes. So if you also want to uh, read a fable, you can also uh, try to research or search about the Aesop's fable. So the ganka ayun siya. Now let's go to Feghut. So, unsa din ning Feghut, ma'am? Uh, nga nung apil man siya sa kanang short story. So, Another example of a quote is uh, most likely the, the titled Waste of Line or Waste of Your Time by Isaac Astinov and then The 40 Million Frenchmen by DeMille. So those are examples of a fake quote. So when we say fake quote, guys, it is a narrative usually an anecdote or a short story that includes with an elaborate pun, also called a shaggy dog story. So, ang term nga Feghut, guys, is derived from Ferdinand Feghut, the title character in a series of science fiction stories by Reginald Retnor, who wrote under anagrammatic pen name, Grendel Briarton. So, a fig hoot, guys, is supposed to make you moan, okay? Fig hoots aren't the, most, aren't the most useful form of fun, but they can 
uh, help you end a story. A big problem for many of us. We tell a great anecdote to our friends, get some laughs, and things are going well until we realize we have no clue how to bring the thing to a close. So, <clears throat> so when you are going to deeper your understanding with the big hot, so most likely it is like uh, another anecdote but most likely it is more on a short story nga interesting ka ay siya. Uh, it is also known as a story pun or a poetic story joke. So mura siya ka ng katawanan ba? Gihimo siya nga ka ng short story para mahimong katawanan. And then, it is also sometimes humorous piece of ending in an atrocious pun. So it can be very short, only long enough to sufficiently illustrate the context of the piece enough to lead up to the pun. So most likely guys, a fig hoat kay ka nang interesting kay siya. So kung imuhang uh, basahon kay, ang yung main purpose is para magpakatawa ka nang para to tell a story which is also a joke. So inan na ang fig hoat. So let's try to read an example. So this is about the planet of black mania. The planet of black mania inhabited though it was by intelligent beings that looked like large wombats had adopted the American legal system and Ferdinand Rigaud had been sent there by the Earth Confederation to study the results. So most likely another uh, ang nag uh, nagbuhat ani or ang nagsugod ani nga uh, uh, type of short story is Ferdinand Fighot so murag ihara ni kabuang ano kay na priso man siya so let's try to read another example so this is a line from 40 million Frenchmen can't be wrong. A play on the world war, I expression. 40 million Frenchmen can't be wrong. Note that Finchin has fashioned an entire narrative digression about illicit trading in furs, oarsmen in boats, fur henchmen and meal. All of it in order to launch this fun. So most likely, uh, napoy ka ng fig hoat na ka ng combination siya sa daghan ng mga author. Okay? So, this one is just an example of um, example of a fig hoat pero dito siya katong direct words ani. So, we also have the shaggy dog story. So, that is also a, an example of a fig hoot. It In its original sense, a shaggy dog story or yarn is an extremely long-winded anecdote characterized by extensive narration of typically irre irrelevant incidents and terminated by an anti-climax. Shaggy dog stories play upon the audience preconceptions of joke telling. So, most likely, it's joke telling ang fig hoat. So, another example of it is the shaggy dog story. Now, let's go to the flash fiction. So, also they mean flash fiction, ma'am. So, when we say flash fiction, it, uh, it is a short story that more likely talk about the extremely short piece of literature. So it, it has uh, no widely accepted length, but has a debita deb debated cap of between 300 and 1,000 words. So the ganda ni siya, no? Kaysa sa katong 100 words ni, ano, ni Drabble. <laughs> Very interesting. Kanang magsulat ka nga dapat 100 words lang siya. Exactly. So, while this one is a flash fiction, so ang, ang ilahang words na ginagamit is most likely 300 to 1,000 words. So, flash fiction refers to an extremely short piece of literature. So, short piece lang siya, no? 
And then, ang widely accepted lang niya is 300 to 1,000 words. And most likely, it is more on debates. No? Ash, muna siya gitawag og flash fiction. So, another example of a flash fiction is about the short story of uh, chapter 5, Ernest Hemingway. We also have Widow's First Year by Carol, by Joyce Carol Oates. And then we also have Give It Up by Franz Kafka. Uh, Kafka. Sticks by George Saunders. We also have Taylor Swift by Hog Bam Stenberg. And, and I titled by Sink. So those are examples of a flash fiction. So most likely it is really just a microfiction. It's like a short form of a, a very short story. Okay. That is a flash fiction. Now let's go to frame story. So unsa dining frame story, ma'am. So when we say frame story, it is or it talks about uh, a frame tale or a nested narrative. It is a literary technique of placing a story within a story. So, there is a story na ganit siya, napadyo naka-incorporate or naka-tago <clears throat> na another story na po. And then, uh, the purpose of it is introducing or setting the stage for a main narrative or a series of short stories. So just like an uh, mga uh, short story from the Korean world or from the South Korea, ang ilahang yun na nagit sila para ma para ma panindot nila ang ilahang uh, ilahang work mag uh, maghimo sila another story para mas masabtan ang ganun na itabuto siya ng story sa uh, sa kanak siya ng mga scene. Okay? So, like, nga nung nahimo siyang killer, what happened when he or when he or she is very young, just like that. So, that is a frame story. A story within a story. Okay? So, ang pinaka-purpose ani niya para ma-introduce niya ang stage. Okay? So, let's try to know uh, what are the examples of a frame story? So, an example of a frame story is most likely the frame story of, um, do we call this one? The Princess Bride. We also have the Falk to Fred Savage. Um, so that is an example of a frame story. So uh, to know more about it, you can also read it <coughs> in the tur.com. So that is what we called <coughs> an example of a frame story. So we also have the Titanic See, because Titanic is <coughs> being storied by by someone who is named uh, Rose, which is an elderly. So most likely it is a story within a story. So that's why it is a framing or a frame story. Now let's go to mini saga. So what do you think? What does it mean? So mini saga guys is a story or a short story that most likely talks about <clears throat> uh, short story and the uh, story siya o exactly 50 words. So kung si ano, si Drabol is kanang kailangan exactly 100 words, si Minisaga should be exactly 50 words. So para po ni siya matest ang brevity sa ato ang author, <clears throat> of not saying a lot with a little time. Okay? So that is a mini saga. So ang kalainan nila sa dra uh, dribble is uh, ang dribble is it should be 100 words and the mini saga it should be 
uh, what we call this one, 50 words, okay? Only 50 words. So just like the copyright of saving money, the dwarf's solstice job, division of labor, an open mind, terminal, crawling, the pride of a city boy. So those are 50 word mini sagas. So this is very interesting, no? Nga makasulat sila o something like exactly 50 words. So let's write here, read an example. Uh, this is entitled Saving Money by Michael Chang. I have saved 70 pence today, David said to his wife, excited and breathing deeply as he arrived home. I followed the bus back and earned 70 pence for us. You stupid fool, you should have followed a taxi. Don't you realize that you could have earned two pounds instead? <laughs> so that is for an example of a mini saga. Now, let's go to the next one, which is uh, what we call story sequence. So, from the word itself, so, ang, ang kanisyang uh, short story, it has a very good sequence na gina, <clears throat> gina, ano, gina sunod. So, these are the example of a story sequence. So we have the screenwriting by Frank Daniel. We also have, um, what else? So na put tay mga uh, story sequence ganahimo na siyang ano kanang movie. So another example of it is the sci-fi movies okay so most likely we have alien by ridley scott we also have pacific rim by so there is no author here and then we also have jurassic park so those are a story sequence or an example of a story sequence so also the next story sequence guys so uh, as we have read or as uh, we can read in our uh, in our book, a short story is also called a short story cycle or a composite novel. It is a group of short stories that work together to form a longer piece while still functioning as a complete short stories on their own. So, one is an example of a story sequence. So, Kung imagine siyang i go into a differ ano siya understanding ang story sequence na ay nga isa ka short story so naa siya story cycle okay like sa pagsugod or sa mga pang pagkabata hantod na dalaga siya or nani na yung idad and so in, then hantod nga natigulang siya or namatay siya so that is also an example of a story sequence so that's why it is also most uh, Ano, composite novel niya. Taas po ka ni siya nga form sa short story. Okay? So, that is story sequence. So, we also have sketch story. So, sa ang sketch story, ma'am? So, when we say sketch story, it is an average piece containing little or no plot. So, wala siya plot. Or kung naaman, gamay lang kaayo siya. And then it can be mere a description of a character. So, pwede siya mahimong description of a character or pwede siya uh, na-describe o isa ka location or maybe character sketches are common and a good way to build a character that will eventually be part of a longer piece. So, pwede po siya nga ano, a good way to build a character. So, pwede po siya like, you are building a character. Okay? Next is Vignette. So, a Vignette, guys, is a short story. Impressionistic, a piece that focuses on a single scene, character, idea, setting, or object. There is little emphasis on adhering to conventional theatrical or literary structure or story development. It can be, or it can, stand alone piece or part of a larger work. So, 
<clears throat> we have here the sketch or the and then we also have the last one which is the vignette. Ang kanindot ani niya nga short story guys is nagafocus lang yun ni siya sa isa ka scene, isa ka character or maybe isa ka idea or maybe isa ka setting or isa ka object. Okay? And then uh, example. So let's try to know some example of a vignette. So, do you have any in mind, guys? So, when we say big net, we have the short story. Yeah, we have the short story. And na himo na siyang ano, guys, kanang movie, which is Ernest Hemingway's In Our Time by Margaret, my, by Margaret Atwood's. We also have the female body by Sandra Cisneros. So these are the example of a vignette, which is nahimo na po siyang ano, kanang movie. So I hope you have learned a lot from our lesson today, guys. So always remember that we have here the anecdote. So something that is very interesting, talks about real person and an incident. And then draw ball, which is very interesting. Okay, na yung lalani mo magsulat o short story na dapat 100 words lang. We also have fable, which is the anthropomorphic creatures. So, katong mga animals, medical creatures, plants nga nag-animate sa, sa katao. So, that is fable. And ang yaha yung pinaka-purpose is to uh, explicitly told a moral in a story. So we also have Fighood, which is a poetic story of jokes. So katong mga gara-gara, no? Para pampakatawa, pampalipay. So we also have the flash fiction, which should be uh, debited between 300 to 1,000 words. So taas-taas ni siya. And then uh, it is also a piece or a piece of literature. So we also have the frame story, which is a story within a story. And the mini saga, which is very interesting, kasi 50, exactly 50 words lang yun siyang a story or short story. And we also have the sequence story or story sequence, which it has a story cycle. And then it's also longer piece. And then isa siya ka short story nga naga function completely because there is like a beginning until the end or at the very young age and to the very old age just like that so we also have the sketch story which is sketches uh sketches a very average or na siya gamay lang kaayo nga plot or maybe no plot and then ang yaha lang in a sketch is the character okay and we also have the vignette, which is also very interesting. Because uh, it has a single scene. It also has a single character, single idea, setting, or object. So it can also stand alone or part of a larger work. So that is the types of short stories. So I hope you have learned a lot from our lesson today. I also love short story so i have given you a student application uh kanisiya is kuanjud kain siya guys nindot kay siya nga story about auria by marisa de la cruz rio dizo Ridborn. so you need to read this one and then answer the guide questions so for you to hone your understanding about the types of short stories so thank you so much to the chance for listening for our lesson today. So if you do have any questions, you can email me with my email, hundisana at gmail.com, or you can PM me or contact me with my uh, cell phone or you know, message me or text me. So you can contact me in any way you are comfortable. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone. So I hope you have learned a lot from our lesson today. And always remember to be the best. See you again. Let's go to your assessments. Bye, traditions.